There's a reason that you clicked on this video today. You were meant to see this. So pay attention and keep this in mind. Every single failure that you have is getting you closer to that one monumental success that people remember you for. There's a reason why when you Google my name, people know who I am. What happens when you Google your name? Nothing. Do you know why that is? Because you are scared of failure. You're scared of committing to the act of bettering yourself. Because what happens is every single time you go out there and approach a girl and you get rejected, you fail, quote unquote. You don't get the result that you want. Every single time you reach out to a prospect to try and sell something to them and they say no and you fail. Every single time you commit yourself to a new challenge or endeavor or you tell yourself, I'm going to wake up early tomorrow. I'm going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to record this many videos tomorrow and you don't get it done and you fail. You are learning. Your mind is expanding. Although it may feel negative, it may seem like a bad thing. Every single time you fail, you're actually getting closer. You're making progress by failing. So it's all a matter of perspective. If you look at it and think, well, I'm failing, I keep losing, it doesn't feel nice, it hurts my ego, so I'm just not going to do it anymore. Then you will forever be forgotten. You'll forever be invisible. You'll forever be just another number. No one's going to remember you. You're just another statistic. You're just another normal guy. But people don't really remember when they walk past on the street. People look at me. People remember me. There's a distinctness about who I am and the way I carry myself, my aura, that instantly makes people look when I walk down the street. I don't even have to be doing anything. Me and my girl will literally joke about this. It's an inside joke. We can walk outside the house looking bummy. You know, I haven't even showered, hoods up, hoodie on, just going to the Tesco around the corner to get some food. And people will still look just because of the way I walk, the way I hold myself. It's an energy exchange and people will remember you because of that energy exchange. Now, if you're the type of individual that gets scared of failure or the first hint of discomfort, you run away and you give up, you're never going to do anything, you're never going to get anywhere. If for the first time you pick up a bicycle and you start riding the bike and you fall off and you lose balance and you fail, you don't get your desired outcome and then you just decide to give up and quit, you'll never ever learn how to ride the bike. And it's the same with absolutely anything. Failure is needed for you to get closer to your goals. The reason why people know who I am now, the reason why people remember me when I walk into a room and I shake the hand and I say hello and I say, my name's Luke, nice to meet you. The reason why people know me on the internet, why you can Google my name and my face comes up is because I've committed to the act of personal growth. I've committed to failure. I've embraced failure, not as something that I'm scared of, not as something that I'm trying to avoid and resist. I've embraced it as simply just another experience. So every single time I fail, just this morning, I failed. I set myself an alarm. I told myself I'm going to get up at 7 a.m. The alarm went off in the back of my mind. I knew what I should have done. And yet I just chose to go back to sleep. I'm not feeling very well right now. I'm a bit tired, a bit sleep deprived. All these excuses start coming into my mind. I'm ill. It's cold outside. I don't really need to get up early. I could actually just get up later and still get all my tasks done. All the excuses and I failed. And you know what I did? Instead of then deciding not to ever do it again, then deciding not to do any of the productive tasks, then deciding to just give up on this whole self-improvement thing. Oh, well, I don't really need to do it anyway. Fuck it. I'd rather just be comfortable my whole life and be forgotten about. Instead of that, I basked in the experience of failure. I felt it. I enjoyed it. I made sure that I cherished that feeling because next time I was in the same situation, I could remember that feeling. I could use my mind and my physical chi to remember that feeling so that it never happens again. <laughs> So failure is just simply another experience. It's just simply another part of life. It's not a polar opposite to success. It's a part of success. You need failure in order to succeed at some point. The amount of times I've gone up to a girl and got rejected. I've got a boyfriend. Oh, I'm not interested. They actually physically pull away from me in the club. It happens to everyone. The difference between the guys that then end up becoming fucking playboys and good with women and the guys that create YouTube channels teaching people how to get women 
the guys that really are about it, the ones that you can tell, yeah, this guy knows what he's talking about. The difference between that guy and the nerd that stays a forever incel, can never get laid, the difference between them is one of them's committed to failure, one of them's kept going, kept going, kept going, rejection, rejection, rejection. And he's learned from every single rejection, every single failure, he's just learned from it. He's expanded his knowledge, he's expanded his mind to how the world works, which you will only be able to do if you fail, if you actually just try. Whether you fail or succeed is irrelevant, they're just simply experiences. The only thing that you can really control is whether or not you're actually giving energy to something, whether or not you're actually trying. That's within your control. The amount of videos I've made that are just dog shit, that didn't do, any, didn't do well at all, no views. The amount of times that I have reached out to a client and tried to get a second call with them in, in terms of my coaching calls, they said no. Every single no that you get is making you more money. Every single time someone said no to me, I've made more money. Because I'm taking something from that. I'm learning something from that so that next time I reach out to someone, next time I try to sell to somebody, I'm more knowledgeable. And I'm more likely, the probability of me getting a sale is now increased because of that failure. Whereas if I didn't have that failure, I wouldn't have this new increased probability of success. Do you understand what I'm saying? So every single time I fail in terms of business, I'm making more money. It's money being made for my future self. Because then the next time I reach out, more knowledge from that last failure, more likely to succeed. The failure is making you money. You can see how this mindset is changing that failure into a positive. It's something that you should actually be excited for. I like when I fail. Because now it's just simply an experience that I can enjoy. It's an experience that I can learn something from. So don't be scared of failure, don't run away from it, embrace it. Every single time you fail, which doesn't really exist anyway, failure is not even real, but we're gonna use it as a placeholder word. Every single time you fail, you're getting one step closer to the goal, to the man that you wanna be. Just keep that in mind. Everything in this world is about perspective, it's all about how you view it. And you should never view anything in a way that takes power away from you as an individual. If I kept looking at my failures and my rejections and people saying no to me in the business world and looking at it as a failure, as if I'm a failure, as if I've done something that makes me less of a man, then I'm never gonna grow, I'm never gonna get anywhere. So instead look at it from a perspective of growth, a positive perspective and learn from it. If you watch this far, if you've watched to the end, comment the word rapid down below in the description. I can't breathe today. <coughs> Excuse me. See what I mean, bruv? Not feeling well. And this is the thing. Your mind will play these tricks on you. Your mind will latch onto any bit of discomfort, any bit of, any possibility of an excuse. It'll latch onto that. And it'll try to keep you in this little comfort bubble to steer you away from failure, steer you away from actually progressing. I've still got work to do, even though I feel unwell, even though I'm a bit under the weather, whatever it may be. Work still needs to be done. And my energy still exists. So where I direct my energy is still important. If I'm putting it into just sleeping all day and lazing around doing nothing because oh, I feel ill, it's not going to improve my situation. I feel stronger now than I did when I woke up this morning because since then I've been for a run. I've been outside. I've gotten daylight on my skin, vitamin D. I've taken a cold shower. I've moved. I've circulated the blood flow. I've opened my lungs because I've done some running, cardio. So now I can feel like I can fully breathe, you know? If I really... I feel like I'm taking in a full air of lungs. If that makes sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? Regardless, the coaching is down below. If you want to learn more from me and the way I like to see the world, to save yourself the years of mistakes that I've had to make. That'd be a very wise decision. And also networking is very important. You can get my phone number if you are a coaching client of mine because we will do the calls through WhatsApp audio. So that means you can also keep in contact with me after the call. Very, very, very wise decision. Get in there now before the prices skyrocket and my channel blows up and I become famous. And oh, I've missed out on the opportunity of knowing Luke Spurgeon. And then again, you are forever a nobody. Don't miss out on that. Take action now while you can see the opportunity before it actually arises, you understand? The sexual mastery course is also down below in the description and the comment section. If you wanna learn how to cure premature ejaculation, porn addiction, erectile dysfunction, 
the list goes on. Master your sexual energy down below. Look after yourself and I'll see you soon. Bye.